Now, okay, so in light of our recent discussion about uh, we're talking about the possibility of Apple getting into the car market, you know, with electric cars and technology, the idea, the recollection came up of that old computer joke about what if Microsoft make cars and whatever. And, and this so, is so actually here, the, the genealogy of it, and I for, I totally forget about this part of it. But anyway, uh, this is from uh, hcs.harvard.edu. <clears throat> For all of us who feel the only, <clears throat> only the deepest love and affection for the way computers have enhanced their lives read on, at a recent computer expo, Comdex, Bill Gates rep repeatedly, reportedly compared the computer industry with the auto industry and stated, quote, if GM had kept up with technology like the computer industry has, we would all be driving $25 cars that got 1,000 miles to the gallon. In response to Bill's comments, General Motors issued a press release stating, if GM had developed technology like Microsoft, we would all be driving cars with the following characteristics. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I'd like to just throw in the era that this came from, okay? Bulletin boards, BBSs. This is pre, this is pre-internet, kind of. Yeah, it is. It really is. All right. It, like nascent. Yep. N the nascent stage. Of the, the germination internet, state way. of the internet. Yeah, the internet was kind of a good, a germ of an idea. For number one, for no reason whatsoever, your car would crash twice a day. <laughs> number two, every time they repainted the lines in the road, you would have to buy a new car. <laughs> number three, occasionally your car would die on the freeway for no reason. You'd have to pull to the side of the road, close all the windows, shut off the car, restart it, reopen all the windows before you could continue. For some reason, you would just simply accept this. <laughs> number four, occasionally executing a maneuver such as a left turn would cause your car to shut down and refuse to restart, in which case you would have to reinstall the engine. Number five, and this is where it gets interesting, Macintosh would make a car that was powered by the sun, was reliable, five times as fast, and twice as easy to drive, but would only run on 5% of the roads. Six, <clears throat> the oil temperature, <laughs> the oil water temperature, <laughs> and alternator warning lights would all be replaced by a single, <laughs> this car is performed an illegal operation warning light. Number seven, the airbag system would ask you, are you sure, before deploying. <laughs> Number eight, occasionally, for no reason whatsoever, your car would lock you out and refuse to let you in until you simultaneously lifted the door handle, turned the key, and grabbed hold of the radio antenna. Number nine, every time a new car was introduced, car buyers would have to learn how to drive all over again because none of the controls would operate in the same manner as the old car. Number ten, you'd have to press the start button to turn the engine off. I think actually this is a stylized version of what was the other one. I don't, I don't think that's, I think it's pretty accurate. And the only thing no, wrong with... It was, a, it was a general failure the, warning. The light. only thing wrong with the, uh, the only thing wrong with the Apple uh, stereotyping... Yeah, here it is. This is okay. that in this day, the only thing that's wrong with the prediction is that it would only be able to run on 5% of the roads. Yeah, so this is all right. So this is a little bit different version. This is actually the one I remember. So for number four, you could only have one person in the car at a time unless you bought car ninety five or car NT. But then you would have to buy more seats. Number five, new seats would force everyone to have the same size butt. <laughs> uh, seven, the Macintosh car owners would get expensive Microsoft upgrades to their cars, which would make their cars run much slower. Yep. The oil, gas, and alternator warning lights would be replaced by a single general car default warning light. Funny. Number 10, if you were involved in a crash, you would have no idea what happened. <laughs> well, there's actually a lot of these. 20 things that would be different. Yeah, I can go on and on. All right, let's see the video.